So, this is you, enjoying your stream, playing your game, minding your own business, and then suddenly... Congratulations, my friend, you've just been a victim of follow botting. But, don't let that get to you. Today I'm gonna explain what follow botting is, what it actually does, and how to remove the follow bots in a few easy steps. Let's get right on to it. How's it going, guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is Synchro, and guys, before I proceed with the video, let me clear up one of the biggest myths about follow botting that you might have heard. Guys, follow botting cannot get your channel banned. I don't know if you actually heard it from someone, or if the guy that follow botted your channel said it themselves. You cannot get banned from Twitch by being followed by The only time you will get in any form of trouble for follow bots is if you do it to yourself and there's evidence. Now we have that cleared out of the way, let me actually explain to you guys what exactly is follow botting. So what is follow botting essentially is basically a bunch of inactive accounts on Twitch, accounts like yours or mine, that's never been used, essentially being controlled by one person or a company and basically being sent to your channel to follow your channel and whatnot. Why is it a bad thing? It's not, it, it, it's just annoying. The whole concept of follow botting is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just incredibly annoying because then you have a bunch of inactive accounts following your channel. Can I get in trouble for it? No, you absolutely cannot. You're completely safe if you actually get follow botted. As long as you didn't do it to yourself, you're completely safe. And a lot of people think that they're gonna get their accounts banned because they got follow botted. Trust me guys, you're absolutely safe, so don't stress about it. How do I remove the follow bots? Let's get right onto it. So guys, I've been followed bot enough times throughout my whole Twitch career to the point where it doesn't even phase me anymore. However, I know these things can actually bother a lot of you guys. So I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how to remove them. If you go over to the description of this video, there is a link to a website called Twitch Tools by Commander Root. It's an amazing little website that provides you resources to not only remove follow bots, but you can also manage your clips, back up your VODs and clips, and much, much more. Hop over on the website and head over to follower remover on it. Make sure you log in with your Twitch and wait for your follower list to load up. So guys, once all your followers have been loaded by the website, this is the page that you're gonna see. Let me put down a huge, huge disclaimer right here, guys. Be careful with this page. If you make a mistake, you could end up deleting every single one of your followers. So please be careful. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to identify the follow bots and how to remove them safely. So follow my steps. Number one thing that you have to do is figure out where the follow bots started. Usually, every single one of your followers has a timestamp on the time and date that they follow you. In order to identify a follow bot, they tend to have very, very close timestamps. Here's the perfect example of this. You can see that the followed at timestamps from all of these accounts are pretty much identical or one or two seconds apart. This is often a dead giveaway that these are actually bot accounts since they all follow the account at once. But not only that, these accounts are also highlighted in orange, which means they're being detected and are known for being bot accounts. Let's suppose you found out where the follow bots are, where they started and where they ended. Go to where they ended first. Copy the timestamp. So let's suppose the follow bots actually ended at 538. You copy this timestamp over here and you paste it on this bar here. And then go to where they started. So let's suppose they started around about at this time over here. Copy this timestamp and bring it to this bar over here, right? And then the next thing you have to do is click apply filter. And essentially what it's gonna do, it's gonna filter out every single follow between this time and this time. So we click apply filter. You see that it went from 6,000 followers to only 32. Let's suppose these 32 people are the follow bots that I wanna remove. Once you are 100% sure that these are the follow bots and you're ready to remove them, this is what you do. Come over here to remove all followers listed below. Make sure that obviously you click the apply filter and then you're gonna get two options. You can just remove them as followers, which is just gonna get rid of them, or you can remove and block them and they're never gonna be able to refollow you with that account. Once you're 100% ready, just choose the option, hit on it, and then that those accounts will be removed from following you. 
And if you want to double check to make sure they're actually removed, after you remove them, hit apply filter once again to refresh the page and you'll see that those follow bot accounts will no longer be there. So that's it guys, that's how simple it is to remove follow bots from your account. Once again, please be incredibly careful with using the commander root tool. If you're not careful with it, you could end up losing all your followers, so please be careful. It's a great tool to get rid of follow bots and whatnot. I already been using it for such a long time to the point where it just becomes a natural thing for me. I can identify follow bots from a mile away and literally remove them while I'm still streaming. But I know there's some people that are new to the tool, so please just be careful. If you guys ever need any help with anything, please don't be afraid to reach out to me. I stream Monday to Friday, starting at 4 p.m. Australian Western Standard Time. Or if you can't catch me because of time zones, please come join the Discord, flick me a DM, and I'm happy to sit through and actually guide you through the usage of Commander Root. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you in some way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for showing your support, and I will catch you all in the next video. Catch you later, everyone.